Hey guys, and today we're just because series one isn't released doesn't mean we can't look at it. So we're gonna be doing a product breakdown today, and yeah, there will be no more Tim Hortons packs for the rest of the month. Um, the next video after the piano piece is a hockey talk and my thoughts on the NHL season, and then. I'm going to be doing a gaming video then after the piano piece, my collection update. But I, I think we're going to have five Timmy's breaks for next month. So stay tuned for that. And let's get into the Series 1 product breakdown. So I have a hobby box of this on that will come in whenever it comes in. The base cards that are 198 base cards. Then two checklists and then 49 young guns in a checklist. So I'm here on the Cardboard Connection. Here are what the base exclusive cards look like. So it looks like it has the player, the team, and then the silhouette, or a, pic a different picture of the player on the bottom right, which is nice, or the bottom left. And then these are what the young guns look like. So they're pretty nice. It's combining like 15, 16, and then 17, 18 on the back, it looks like. Here with Cole Caulfield, but it won't be worth much when it comes out, the Cole Caulfield one. He hasn't been doing very good. And then there's the clear cut, Hobby Parallel. French is 1 in 30. Clear cut's 1 in 96 packs. The exclusive number to 10, high gloss number to 10. And then there's probably the street clothes variation. And then for the young guns, the French are 1 in 120 packs. Clear cut 1 in 288 packs. And then the exclusive high gloss. And then these are the canvas cards here. And I also have some of my best young guns from Series 1 in the back. And those are my three best young guns. So, the canvas set, there's base, 1 in 7. Shows Pasternak here. And then the young guns are 1 in 48 packs on their printing plates. And then for the inserts, here are the electromagnetic cards. These are 1 in 14 packs. These are pretty cool. Shows 400, 500, 600, 700, and dip. The player in different colors. And then Honor Roll is 1 in 12 packs. I think these were before, but this is a, a parallel number to 250. I've never seen them, but it said they return on a different website. So I guess they've been in a set before. And then Hundo P is 1 in 12 packs. And those focus on players who hustle. So I'm guessing like players like Zach Hyman. Players that like try their best every shift will be in that set. And then the UD Portrait series is 1 in 12 packs. Um, I think then there are Superstar Parallels. Or there are Stars, which are like common. And then there are Superstars. There are 10 of them instead of 10 Rookie Portraits, which are rarer. And then there are Parallels for those. And then the Dazzlers um, in Retail Blasters are 1 in 7. So like one in pretty much every blaster. Then for tins and fat packs are one in nine packs or one in ten packs. And then for hobby and re for hobby and retail, blue are one in twenty four packs. And then for hobby, pink are one in one hundred forty four. So oh, there's also a red retail parallel, which is nice. And then there's debut dates, which returned from last year. They're 1 in 16. There's no images. And then 1 in 192 packs. Gold. And then electromagnetic. There's gold parallel. Honor rolls. 1 in 12. Then there's rainbow. Gold rainbow printing plates. Then there's Hundo P. And then there's gold printing plates. Rookie retrospective are in retail this year because port the portrait's odds are harder to get now. So those are 1 in 20 packs. Those returned from last year. And then gold are 1 in 20. Portraits are 1 in 14. Black and white, and then printing plates, and then the short print, so one in 120, and then there are daylight, night light cards, one in 864 packs. It says hold one in your hands, day or night, and you'll see what we mean. And then there's day of the fla day with the cup flashbacks, day with the cup flashbacks, short prints, and then there's clear cut foundations, clear cut honor members, clear cut leaders, and clear picks. And then there's oh, no, 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 no. And then there's OPG Glossy Rookies. And then there are Sophomore Sensations and the Starter Kits. And Hobby promises one wild card per box, but no further details were provided. So that's probably another insert. And these are what the game jerseys look like. 
It's 1 in 72 packs. Wow, isn't it 1 in 36 usually? So, in every box, you get one clear cut parallel UD game jersey. You got their hit card, six young guns, four canvas, six inserts, two um, UD portraits, two honor roll, one dazzler's blue, one base card French parallel, and one wild card. And then there are the images. So, is that it for this right now? I guess, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the Series 1 product breakdown. I, I was going to say something else. Um, oh yeah, so uh, if you guys don't know, Upper Deck cancelled Ice, which is a kind of popular set for this year. And then they took out the clear-cut cards of Tim Hortons, and then they're delaying Series 1. Probably this all means that they're running along clear-cut cards so the clear cut might be delayed by a massive amount, the main clear cut set. And yeah, that's what that's probably why series one is delayed so much. I hope it does come out before the holidays, but I don't even know if I'm gonna get a video of me breaking it in unless I move one of the Timmy's breaks into January. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more videos, more breaks more product breakdowns if you like this type of content be sure to like and subscribe so i know that you guys like this stuff and be sure to comment down below if this helped you learn more about series one thanks for watching and bye yee 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 yee